My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. We were attacked again by the Vigilant and the Dawn Guard. And we still have a corpse here. I think it's time that I put it to use. Stand back, Serana. So now we have more help, as though we really don't need it. gonna turn one of them. Let's go. Did we come through this way? I'm really not even sure anymore. Hmm, Quicksilver again. This might be the way. More Quicksilver. There's a trap up here. Look out, get back. Get back. Serana, you just don't like to listen, do you? Let's go. Now the 
both almost down. Wait, what? More Quicksilver. Whatever it is, it's for the two of you to deal with. Really vigilant. I'm sure Serana can handle it. Really. like you threw that at my feet as if you're trying to make some sort of a statement all right I get the message let's go more quicksilver found the Way Shrine of Radiance Initiate. Are you prepared to honor the mantras of Ariel and fill your vessel with his enlightenment? Yes, I am. May the blessings of Ariel protect you as you climb the road to the inner sanctum and final enlightenment. you've been turned <laughs> okay people believe the inner sanctum is this way that has to be the place I've never seen a building like that it looks like some kind of temple wait a minute there's something guarding it a giant. will even work on something that size. We're about to find out. wasn't such a good idea to turn you. All right. Can I carry all of this? Hm. 
summons an ebony giant. Okay, let's keep moving. This is a statue of Ariel, but it's using the older signs of his power. This temple must be ancient. The bow has to be in here. And we have something else. Ariel's legacy. A great sword. Blazing arrows. Sinister arrows. I'm not sure what troll stone is. Guess I'll take it. Ah, blood cursed elven bolts. And sun hallowed elven bolts. Blazing bolts. Sinister bolts. How many long swords are there? Look at this. Ariel's crossbow. And. <clears throat> There's even a dagger. All right, I'll try to take all this. All right, here's where the water needs to be poured. Here we are, the inner sanctum. Alright, this doesn't look good. <laughs> look at this. seems Show to be yourself. affecting it. seem to be hurting it at all. to change my arrows. Daedric, perhaps. No. Where 
Where's Serana? Huh, down. And I suppose the Vigilant couldn't even get in here. seem to hit it once and then my bows my arrows seem to go through it Is there anything in here of value? Ice Blade of the Monarch. Your frost salts gold. All right, we'll take the staff. Let's see what happened to the, uh... Hmm. Seriously. What can I do for you, friend? I need Is there you... anything else? I need you to come with us if you can't. Sarana's not coming either. All right, well, you I can take care Still of. Here. It's time for us to part ways. Farewell, then. If you need my services again, just come and look for me in the usual place. Hmm, right, like I know where that is. There. All right, he didn't have anything of use. Serana, if I must, I will do this on my own. Let's go. Unfortunately, I can't put you down like I did him. I heard footsteps, but I don't see anything. All right, so we have Elven Shield. Elven Sword of Flux. that someone might be carrying. Scroll of Blizzard. All right, health. Let's 
do we have here? for some poison. A ruby paragon. So now I have three of them. try to get myself locked in there. All right, it looks like I'm on my own. Staff of Ice Spikes. Repel the Undead. This is more more health potions. Necklace of major health. I stopped him in the nick of time. feeling about this. Oriel's Chapel. Here I go. Oh, there you are. I figured you'd show up eventually. someone sitting on the throne. I think I should give him a proper welcome.
So, you must be Verthor. Did you really come here expecting to claim Ariel's bow? You've done exactly as I predicted and brought your fetching companion to me. Wait, is he talking about me? No, Which he's talking I'm to me. To say means your usefulness is at an end. Behind us. Who's there? Death. ceiling down on me. What? Finish them. Behind us. Tough day for you. We can do this. I know we can. He's up there on the balcony. Come on. He changed me back. Enough, Berther. Give us the bow. How dare you! I was the arch curate of Ariel, girl. I had the ears of a god. Until the betrayed corrupted you, yes, yes, we've heard this sad story. Gelibor and his kind are easily manipulated fools. Look into my eyes, Serana. You tell me what I am. You... You're a vampire? But Ariel should have protected you. The moment I was infected by one of my own initiates, Ariel turned his back on me. I swore I'd have my revenge, no matter what the cost. You want to take revenge on a god? Ariel himself may have been beyond my reach, but his influence on our world wasn't. All I needed was the blood of a vampire and his own weapon. Ariel's bow. The blood of a vampire. Ariel's bow. It was you? You created that prophecy? A prophecy that lacked a single final ingredient. The blood of a pure vampire. The blood of a daughter of Cold Harbor. You were waiting all this time for someone with my blood to come along. Well, too bad for you. I intend on keeping it. Let's see if your blood has any power to it. Gout. He's 
are all yours if you want him. Here he is, your brother. It looks like we're done here. So the deed has been done. The restoration of this way shrine means that Bertha must be dead, and the betrayed no longer have control over him. The betrayed weren't to blame. What? What are you talking about? He was a vampire. He controlled them. A vampire? I see. Uh, that would explain much. Deep inside, it brings me joy that the betrayed weren't to blame for what happened here. Why? Because that means there's still hope that they might one day shed their hatred and learn to believe in Oriel once again. It's been a long time since I felt that way, and it's been long overdue. My thanks to both of you. Hmm. You risked everything to get Oriel's bow, and in turn, you've restored the Chantry. I can't think of a more deserving champion to carry it than you. If you wish to learn more about the bow, or obtain some hallowed arrows for it, I'd be more than happy to help. You've but to ask. All right, there it is. Ariel's bow. I was expecting. Still, it's beautiful. What do we do now? Well, before we spoke to my mother in the Soul Cairn, I would have said we'd bring the bow to my father. But after everything with her, I don't think we can trust him. Then we kill him before he kills us. I keep thinking that there's got to be another way. Really? He'll turn on us both the moment he gets the chance. No. He has to die. We have no choice. You're the one that told me this from the beginning. Then let's face him. Together. Thank you. Somehow I knew you'd understand. Not more than you know. All right. If there's assistance I can provide, just ask. It's the least I can do. Hmm. What can you tell me about Oriel's bow? The bow was said to be carried by Oriel himself into battle against the forces of Lorcan in ancient and mythic times. Its craftsmanship has no equal anywhere within Tamriel, and possibly beyond. What can it do? The bow draws its power from Aetherius itself, channeling it through the sun. Therefore, when an arrow is loosed from the bow, it produces a magical effect very similar to being burned by fire. Sounds... powerful. That's actually only a fraction of its potential. Really? With sun-hallowed arrows, you would be able to produce a much more spectacular effect, causing bursts of sunlight to envelop your foes. The sunbursts would certainly hurt anything, but is especially devastating to the undead. Verther said something about using blood. Well, using an arrow with the bow that's been dipped in blood may cause it to function differently, corrupting its purpose. That's, of course, if you're foolish enough to try it. 
<laughs> what will happen to the Chantry now? Why did it fill me with joy to see the Chantry back to its former glory? That time has long since passed. Now that my brother's dead, it's quite possible I'm the last of our kind. Then I've contributed to your kind's extinction. There's no need for that kind of talk. I said it was possible. It's also quite possible that there are some other isolated conclaves of snow elves nestled elsewhere on Nern. I'll also assume Vertha didn't exactly give you the option to stay your hand. He did not. So, what will you do then? For the time being, I will remain here, on the Overlook, and continue trying to keep the Sanctum free of the betrayed. You're always welcome to return here at any time, of course. And how do I obtain sun-hallowed arrows? I can actually assist you in that regard. If you were to bring me some good quality elven arrows, I could imbue them with the proper incantations and rituals. Can you make me some sun-hallowed arrows? Certainly. I can only do 20 at a time, but I see that won't be a problem in this case. Alright, can you make me any more? I'm afraid I'll need elven arrows if you want me to produce the sun-hallowed arrows. And it seems you're all out of them at the moment. Alright, very well. So, can the betrayed ever be cured? I feel nothing but sympathy for the betrayed, despite my actions against them. But I'm afraid that they're well beyond a cure at this point. Why? The twisted forms you've seen didn't occur overnight. It isn't a plague or a disease that ravaged our species. The dwarves may have stolen their sight, but it took many generations for them to become what they are today. Then there's no hope for them. Perhaps they'll never return to their former appearance. But over the centuries, I've noticed a rise in their intellect. If a line of communication could be established with them, maybe they can find peace. It's the only way they'll discover that they weren't always malignant. They were once a proud and prosperous race. All right, Serana, I think you're trying to tell me something. All right, thank you, Gelabor. You're always welcome to return here at any time, of course. All right, let's go. We need to figure out which one of these portals to go through. But before we leave, I think we should find out about these paragons and how to use them. Let me talk to Gelabor a little bit more. <laughs> 